Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Simon from Constant Collectible and today we found a little something that I'm a little excited about. So let's go check him out. So things are finally starting to show up on the shelves and something that I've been waiting for and I didn't order because, you know, hunting is fun, was this Star Wars Droids. The Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO. This is the Boba Fett from that 1985 cartoon that aired, I believe, on ABC. And um, the packaging is cool. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't know if I want to take him out or not, but I am going to take him out. Um, this is also celebrating Lucas's 50th anniversary. Um, this is what he looked like. Uh, we can see on the side, oops, wrong way, there is the logo, there is Boba Fett on the side. Now remember, this came out, the cartoon came out before Empire Strikes Back, so this is the first time we get introduced to Boba Fett, and there he is in his packaging, some good verbiage in here, and why don't we break him out and have a look. So, that is our Boba Fett. Now, what I like about him is he has a cloth cape, uh, somewhat. Um, the coloring is awesome, because it is from the cartoon. And, um, let's see, visor thing does not come down, uh, unlike the Black series that came out, which is still in the box. I have not taken him out of the box. Uh, Joint-wise, not bad. Uh, little loose but that's okay I'm okay with that uh, one of the problems that I had is their pegs on the bottom did not truly stick into the NECA base uh, figure display things um, I am not sure if I'm gonna keep him on my shelf and just put him over here um, or if I will put him in the box and put him with my other black series which is there and then this Sorry, this guy is that Disney titanium one that they had come out with, um, which I might take him out because I have two of those, but I'm not sure. Um, I like this. I like this a lot. Um, he was 26, which really, if you think about it, is a really good price right now, considering a lot of the Black Series are going up in price. Um, I saw one the other day for 32 um, in Target. Uh, Walmart, sometimes you can find him cheaper. There's plenty of Landos on the shelf, but he was a nice, happy find. But I'm not sure if I want to keep him out or not. Let me know in the comments below, and we'll figure out what we should do. But in the meantime, I might put him back in his box and get him back up here on the shelf. Hey, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. I'm Simon from Constant Collectible. This has been another What's in the Box. There's more coming your way. We've got some He-Man, we've got some G.I. Joe, and who knows what pops up. In the meantime, thanks for checking us out. Go ahead and hit that like, hit that subscribe. I thought that was fun. So thanks again for watching.